In the month of April, this marketing funnel generated 232 leads for this small business with just $2,000 in ad spend. And in today's video, I want to break down the philosophy that we use to come up with this, what we gave those leads in exchange for their contact information, the offer we used, and also show you the backend mechanics of how we set up this campaign for success. But before we go ahead and dive in, let me just show you how some of the numbers broke down here. So first off, we spent $1,006.68. We generated 232 leads, which came to $8.65 per lead. And to give you some of the context around this business, their average ticket price is around $1,800 to $4,500, depending on the level of service that you sign up for uh, or enroll in. And so $8.65 leads are good for them as long as they're high quality intent-based leads. So before we go ahead and dive into the actual funnel, let's talk about some of the philosophy around this offer that we gave away. So the first thing to remember is that the more direct your call to action, the higher the cost per lead. And what this means is, is let's say you're a car detailing business, right? And you run an ad for people who want to get their car detailing, right? It's pretty much just like a billboard kind of ad, like fill out the form so that you can enroll in signing up for my service. The leads that you get will be more expensive because they're people who have a buying intent, but those leads will likely be higher quality because they're people who fill out the form, raising their hand saying, yes, I'm interested in getting my car detailed. Whereas on the flip side, if you create like a lead magnet, a free piece of value, that's something like a, your guide to the best car wash you can give yourself at home. You'll get a lower cost per lead, but the intent will be farther away because these are people who are just signing up for the free guide and they might have interest in your service, but really they're just signing up for your guide. So it'll be a longer buying process there. If you focus on value lead magnets, like I said, your lead cost will be lower, but less warm. Like that's where the whole idea of the car wash guide came into play. But what if we were able to meet them somewhere in the middle? And we found with this funnel that something in the middle that attracts intent driven leads without being a direct call to action. And here's what I mean by that. In the example of this funnel, we created something called a guidebook. And you can think of this as being something like a brochure, but more interactive, right? When you think of brochure, you almost think of like a selling pamphlet. Whereas where you use a word like a guidebook, it, it almost feels like you're opening up a map, you're opening up a journey, you're gonna go on this adventure, if you will, to learn more about the business and its services, but it's less direct than just signing up for an offer, right? So some of the things that are included inside of this guidebook are, an introduction of the brand and the business. So who you are, your story, your background, how you got here, overview of your services and how you can help. This right here is the most important aspect of your guidebook or your virtual brochure. You also wanna include how to self-diagnose the starting point, right? So based off of the certain pain points or maybe the legitimate pain or the problem that I'm having, what is the service that's best for me to start with and giving, giving me the ability to self-diagnose a little bit. Uh, you can have case studies and testimonials of other successful customers in the past, and then also other pertinent information related to your business. And this is something that you can create professionally in something like a Photoshop and, or an InDesign, et cetera, but it's also something that you can create just right inside of Canva and you can export it as a PDF. And, you know, making it in this case, it was somewhere around like the eight to 10 pages. You can make it longer or shorting, shorter, depending on your business type. Now, to give you some examples of use cases for a guidebook, here are some. So let's say you're a dance studio. You might create a guidebook called the guide to your child's first dance class. The only people who are going to sign up for this are parents who are interested in learning about what it takes to enroll their child in their first class. It's not saying, enroll in your child's first dance class is just saying, hey, you can get a guide to learn a little bit more about the process and educate yourself before diving headfirst in. Or let's say you're a chiropractor. It might be the spine wellness guide that goes over different pain points of the spine, or maybe you do one on the back or somewhere else on the body and the services and adjustments that you can get that will ease that pain for you. And you can learn about it self-diagnose, call that chiropractic office that you got the guide from to sign up for that service. Let's say you're a car dealership. It might be like the road ready report where you go over specific cars that are getting the highest ratings from your dealership right now. The only people who will fill that out are probably people who are in the market for a car. 
uh, high, or maybe you're a high ticket coach and you have something called like your breakthrough manual, where maybe it goes through your process as a coach and how you nurture and grow your clients into becoming their next best selves. These are just some examples, but as you can see, these aren't a traditional lead magnet where you're giving away like a nutrition guide or a checklist for this or that. No, this is giving away something that's related to your business where they're gonna learn about you, but it's not specifically selling an offer. And here's what we did to get those 232 leads for this business on the $2,000 of ad spend. So we use something called a Facebook lead form ad. And if you're not sure about what these are, just go on YouTube and look up Facebook lead form setup tutorial or something like that. And essentially these are forms that can be filled out directly inside of Facebook or Instagram. So there's not that friction of clicking the ad, having to create a landing page, create the automations, all that kind of stuff. You can do that directly inside of a Facebook lead form ad. And we did that here. Secondly is once somebody fills out that lead form ad, the lead form has a thank you page on it where you can put a headline, a description, and then a button right there. And there's a couple of different buttons that you can put there. You can put additional free value. You can have them book an appointment, or you can just have a button there to click and read the guide. In our case on the thank you page, we thanked them for signing up. And then we had a button right there that said, click here to access the guidebook right now. They click that it opens on their phone and they can start reading and learning about our services. Okay. Then step number three is we want to put them into an automation that delivers the email with a link. So right away when they sign up for this, they get an email in their inbox with a link to that guide directly right there. And then you want to create like a Google sheet or inside of your CRM with the leads that signed up for this. And 24 hours later, you want to call and text them to confirm that they received the guidebook and ask them if they have any questions. Now, of course, when we get deeper into marketing processes, you can put them through a nurturing email sequence that goes on longer term. You can have different follow-ups in place, but at a bare, bare minimum, these are the things that you want to have going right now. So if you think about this from a time perspective, being able to create the guidebook in general might take you, let's say two hours to get the minimum viable product going. To set up this Facebook lead form ad, let's say that takes you another two hours. To set up this automation, let's say it takes you an hour and a half, 5.5 hours, and a little bit of ad spend per day. And you can start bringing in consistent leads for your business that you can be calling, that your sales team can be calling, that your office manager can be calling, whoever is in that placement, you need more leads. This is a quick and easy way to get them without too much time and money investment. And if you implement this in your business, I'm sure it can start drumming up some traffic for you. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more marketing funnel breakdown videos, just like this one, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm releasing many videos per week. And I would love to see you in future content to help you grow your business, grow your impact and grow your profits.